So, you suck at art. You can't draw, you can't paint, and after years of practice, you know deep down you have no hope of ever being able to draw your imagination. Not a problem, because we're in 2022, which means you live in a world where you just type what you want and the machine learning AI will create the rest of the image for you. And this technology is now available to everyone completely free. If you sign up with Dolly right now, you'll get on the waiting list. And once they approve you, every month you will get 15 free searches to generate any art you want. That's right. If you type an expressive oil painting of a basketball player, Duncan, depicted as an explosion of a nebula, you'll get something like this. If you type in a Shiba Inu dog wearing a beret and a black turtleneck, you'll get this or a hand-drawn sailboat circled by birds on the sea at sunrise. You will get this. And it can even do different styles. If I type in, happy, smiling Godzilla joyfully destroys Tokyo, painted by Raphael, it gives me this. But if I ask for the exact same thing painted by Van Gogh instead, it knows how to apply the different art styles to different painters. And it even captures the emotion too. I mean, just look at Godzilla. He is clearly living his best life in Van Gogh art style. And get this, it doesn't just generate images for you, it can edit images too. If you give it the Mona Lisa, and then erase part of the head, and tell Dolly to give her a mohawk, not only will it give her a mohawk, it blends it in naturally with the rest of the picture automatically. And not only can you edit, Dolly can even imagine beyond the borders of the image. So if you ask Dolly what is beyond the Mona Lisa, then Dolly assumes that she's clearly sitting in a chair working on her PC. You know, as they do in the 1500s. Now, it's not perfect. Sometimes it has trouble with faces or mixes some weird stuff together. But for the 20 seconds it takes for you to type in a few words to get four random images of this kind of quality is absolutely ridiculous. If you are a small indie studio and you don't have enough money to hire a concept artist, literally just sign up for Dali and every month you will get 60 free images of whatever you need in whatever style you want. Now, I personally have been having a lot of fun with it. Just to show off a few, when I typed in epic medieval princess fighting an angry Chinese dragon, I got these gems, which is ridiculous because I know for a fact I would never be able to draw this. Then when I asked it for a super duper cute coffee dragon, it created these precious images. Now I am just blown away by the sheer flexibility and variety that this tool can work with. Even if you ask for some really specific random things like a historical painting of a Japanese princess. I mean, man, what can I say? Absolutely incredible. So my point is, even if you are not a 2D artist, this type of tech is still extremely useful for storyboarding, concept generation, and so much more. I'll give you a personal example. A friend of mine is working on a game and he told me he was having trouble finding the right artist for the box art of his game. So I told him to give me a shot and I was like, hey man, what do you want in this picture? And he was like, I don't know, it, it kind of doesn't really make sense, but um, what I wanted was a Tyrannosaurus Rex riding on top of a tank in the middle of a desert. And I was just like, all right, bro, I got you, don't worry. And a couple minutes later, after typing that stuff into Dali, I generated these images for him. And he was blown away. Needless to say, he was extremely satisfied with the work and is no longer looking for a cover artist. So this stuff has lots of applications, even if you are a 3D guy like me. Now, Dali is not the only software out there. In this year alone, more than eight different options have become available. But at the moment, Dali seems to generate the best results in the shortest amount of time. And that's the one that I've been using the most. So that is the one that I will be teaching you guys in the next couple of videos. I will teach you about all of Dali's strengths and more importantly, Dali's weaknesses. So if you are a developer for the competition like Mid Journey or Google Party, which is coming up, if you follow me in the next few videos, I will teach you not only how to surpass Dolly, but how to defeat it in competition. Because as someone who's been using it for the last couple of months, it has a few gigantic weaknesses that I don't really see anyone else talking about. And it's because of these weaknesses. If Dolly does not make changes fast, I am 99% sure that by the end of next year, Dolly will no longer be top dog. Now that software like this is available, drawing things is no longer a problem. The problem is knowing exactly how to describe what you want to get the specific output that you need. If you do not understand art theory, art philosophy, art history, the names of the most famous artists, or the proper technical names of the art styles that you are looking for, you will easily burn through every single one of your free searches each month and get bullshit you really didn't want. So if you want to learn how to solve all these problems and you don't want to miss out on the new videos that are coming out, definitely ring the bell below to stay on top of all my new uploads. Anyway, I'm not exaggerating when I say that this is probably the single most powerful art 
art tool the planet has ever seen. I mean, this year the world of art has changed forever, and there is no going back. I mean, can you imagine if this software was available when you were in fifth grade or something? How crazy would your imagination have gone? Well, it's here now. And it's completely free to sign up, so go over there and join the waitlist, because the waitlist is already pretty big. But some of my friends have recently gotten access to it, so they are trying to get to people as fast as they can. As always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.